Hi folks, Pete, founder and chief nosh of Great American Nosh, where we live by the mantra, eat, drink, and savor. So we are now focusing on the eat and savor part. As you can tell, I move around with a savor part. Anyway. So uh, this video actually is tied into several other videos and several of my social media posts. We have uh, kind of a dual prong purpose of our video. First is I actually scored that. So I scored some fresh bluefin tuna. And this tuna is sourced by New England fishmongers in New Hampshire. And then they sourced the tuna from hard merchandise, the Marciano family. Yes, the Wicked Tuna, one of the Wicked Tuna folks. Yes, we are so close to that uh, location that we are somehow get lucky and get fish from them. This fish in particular, I think was caught last week. I am also, the other purpose of what we're doing here is I am also promoting my product giveaway for our website subscriptions, the Nosh Nation memberships. If you saw my last video, we talked about our La Creuset cast iron skillet. And I am also gonna show you how I sear tuna on my cast iron skillet. So let's get going. Okay, so there's something that they don't teach you at the store when you're actually buying the skillet, is the, um, they recommend that you actually warm it up over a kind of low to medium heat. I would always do low heat because once this thing heats up, it gets really hot. And obviously this handle gets really hot, so you gotta be careful, don't burn yourself. The other thing is that they don't tell you is I actually start this off in the oven and I turn the oven to like 400, 450, and it kind of actually evens it it heats it nice and evenly and it's ready to roll. Um, and then what happens is I put it on the burner and then put a little olive oil and then heat up the oil that way. Because the challenge when you actually put this on the burner, then put the oil on, the oil is going to get super hot before the actually the pan does. And so you may have a lot of uneven areas around that on the pan. So, and also the olive oil has a lot of low smoking point, which means it's going to start smoking. Makes kind of sense, right? Okay. I think I got that right. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, this is fun stuff. Okay. Um, let's uh, see some tuna. Thanks. Pat it dry. This tuna is so good, you really don't want to overdo the seasoning. So we'll do this. All right. A little pinch of salt. A little pepper. Give it a little pat. That's it. Don't use metal, uh, especially in these cast iron pans. You want to scrape this enamel coating it off, because then it will leave the cast iron exposed and get into your food. So definitely use rubber tips. Two minutes aside, folks. Two minutes aside. Look at that, folks. Perfect medium rare. Oh my. We're done. Two minutes aside. How about that? 
two, two, done. Perfect medium rare. Again, the quality of the tuna is outstanding. And here we go. We're gonna actually do our taste test. Oh my God. Holy tuna. <laughs> holy, holy great fish. What, WTF, where's the fish? Thanks very much, New England Fishmongers. Thank you very much. Hard merchandise, the hardworking crew, and obviously the captain, Marciano. This is so much appreciated. I'm so grateful to have this close to my home. And hopefully if you enjoyed our video, please like, share, and subscribe. Eat, drink, savor.